so let's talk about coronary steel phenomenon uh, in this diagram you can see iota and its branches right coronary artery and left coronary artery the left coronary artery further uh, divides it into left anterior descending artery and circumflex artery uh, also notice the atherosclerotic plaque in the left anterior descending artery now because of this atherosclerotic plaque the downstream myocardial region here becomes ischemic this leads to compensatory vasodilation of these blood vessels in this area now when a person starts exercising or when certain vasodilator drugs like adenosine dipyridamol uh, nitroglycerin are given what happens is there is increased blood flow to the uh, healthy myocardium which can divert the blood away from the ischemic zone worsening its condition so this redistribution of blood flow is called as coronary steel phenomenon from already a compromised area to a normal area we call it as coronary steel phenomenon importantly remember stress test such as those using adenosine they rely on this phenomenon to detect region of ischemia in the heart remember when this phenomenon leads to symptoms like chest pain or ischemia it is referred to as coronary steel syndrome uh, it is nothing but the clinical manifestation of coronary steel phenomenon so just remember the diversion of blood flow from the already compromised ischemic region to a normal myocardium we call it as coronary steel phenomenon and this happens because these ischemic myocardium are already maximally dilated and they are supplying the compromised region now because there are some vasodilators given or the person starts exercising the healthy myocardium needs more blood so from this ischemic region all the blood will be supplied to or from the coronary artery mainly the blood will go via circumflex artery to a normal myocardium com further compromising this region and this phenomenon is called coronary steel phenomenon